Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is just going to be a really chill get ready with me. I've got a few products to try that are new to me um, and a few second impressions. We're just going to get on into the makeup. I've already done my brows and I've primed my eyes with the ABH eye primer. Um, I should have bought my Juvia's Place one down but I forgot. So the palette I'm going to be using is the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. Oh, I love the look of this. I have been so super excited to try it. Um, so yeah, I've swatched a few of the shades, but I haven't tried them on my eyes yet. So let's have a think, because it doesn't have a mirror. So, well, not that I would really want to hold up a big palette with a mirror. What are we going to do? I'm thinking of going kind of purple pink today yeah I'm gonna go purple pink so I am going to I'm gonna start off with Ecowas I have no idea how to pronounce it I'm so sorry but this purple matte here okay, so I'm just gonna use um, an Artichoke Cosmetics fluffy brush and I'm going to take that in my crease I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I have a few of the palettes. Um, I've got the Wahala too, and oh, I love that. Um, I do love that with this one, they've gone back to the circular pans. I don't know why I prefer that, um, but for some reason I do. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm kind of a creature of habit in that sense. Um, I like what I know and, and love and I do know and love Juvia's Place um, the quality is always amazing and I don't think I've ever felt let, let down by the quality of any of their shadows if I have then I don't remember I don't know um, but I'm just building this up with a obviously more open brush just to make this kind of I don't know the transition-y shade ish I use such technical terms <laughs> yeah I do love this shade this is absolutely stunning so what do you guys think of Juvia's Place are you also fellow lovers I have noticed a lot of people um, it's almost like they've got bored of Juvia's Place. Um, I still really, really love the palettes they have. And I am super happy to, to have this one now in my collection. Um, because it is stunning. I have seen other people do looks with this. I'm a bit... Kind of late to the party trying it. I have had it for a while, um, but yeah, kind of illnesses and other things got in the way, and so yeah, I am late to the game, <laughs> but it's all good. Oh, Jace, if you hear some weird noises in the background, um, Jace is fighting sleep. And Jace is my puppy for any of you that um, are new and don't know. Um, yeah, he's not wanting to go to sleep. Bless him. So I'm going to go in with Edo, Edo, the deeper purple matte. Again, I apologise if I'm butchering that name. More than likely I am. And I'm going to kind of place that just right in this outer part of my lid and outer V. Hmm. Oh, that's better. It's not Wham Bam Pigment, but a bit more buildable. But I'm not complaining at that. 
that's pretty <laughs> jace has got his toy that when you bounce it or knock it it like flashes in different lights so if the background starts looking a bit like a disco <laughs> that's why <laughs> whining away to himself he does not want to go to sleep this is really pretty I'm loving this shade loving it I'm just going to go in with this Zoeva 224 Lux to find crease and I'm going to go into oh I'm going to go into Benin the uh, lighter pink and I'm going to take that right up around the edge just to blend out blend out those edges a bit better Ooh. this is a pretty shade okay and then I'm going to go back in with the first shade, Ecovas. Again, apologies. And I'm going to take that through between the two to kind of blend them together a bit more. So I'm just going to go back through the shades just to just to blend them a bit better. I am absolutely loving loving these shadows um i did fully expect to love them um <laughs> i love juvia's post shadows generally and again i had seen other people use this palette so i was so excited to try this i do love how juvia's shadow is just performs so beautifully I'm just going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then we'll go in with the shimmers. I'm just going to tap a bit of the deepest purple just into the edge of this here. To make it easier to to blend in the shimmer so i think do i want to do that yeah i do or do i do you know what i'm going to go in with yoruba that shimmer there i'm i just really want to try that I'm just taking that on an Odin's Eye, what are you, FR4? And I'm going to place that part way. Oh, okay, this is pretty. Oh, look at that. that is a very pretty shade can you see the shift in that i hope you can I'm trying to work out what the shift is it's kind of like blue purple green it's just stunning uh, Absolutely stunning. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to... I think, actually, I'm then going to go in with... Is it Aoife? The kind of neon -y kind of green, yellowy green shimmer. And get the hair off the brush. I'm going to go 
on the inner part with all. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I I'm in love with this shimmer. Oh, this is a really nice shimmer, and I'm just going to kind of tap it into the shimmer next to it, just to kind of mesh them a little bit. It is absolutely stunning. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think of this. Do you have a favourite Juvia's Place palette also? I think mine has kind of always been the Tribe. Um... This could very well take the place of that. Juvia's shimmers just never let me down. They're always amazing. And I do love their pressed glitter formula too. The pressed glitters, or well in particular the one in the, the Nubian Royal, the six pan. Oh, that is stunning. And the ones in the Wahala 2 also are just amazing. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of shade. Look at that. Okay, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of that first shimmer. To assist in that blend. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to go back into that, the darkest purple, and just kind of bring that back and blend it in a bit. I have zero complaints with this so far. Only praise. Those shades are absolutely freaking stunning. I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. Right, so let's clean up underneath if there's anything to clean up, really. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with a new foundation and concealer. So I'm going to stick with my favourite primer. It works under everything. And that's the Ilamasca Hydro Veil. I love this so much. I now have two backups because I went into TK Maxx a couple of days ago. And my, my boyfriend took me downtown um, or came with me downtown. It says I can't go out on my own anyways. That's besides the point. Um, I went into TK Maxx and I was really disappointed at how little makeup they had in there um, compared to how it used to be. However, they had the Hydra Veil in there for $5.99. And guys, okay, yeah, I've already got a backup, but now I've got two backups. This is my absolute favourite <laughs> primer like oh i love it so much i do have a more affordable um primer that is a very close dupe very close dupe but not not quite it does that make sense um it's close enough um for if you don't want to pay out for the hydra veil but then if you can get hold of it for $5.99, it's so worth it. So, so worth it. I think it's worth a lot more anyways, but I've I've never bought it full price. So the foundation that I have to try is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Colour Correcting Full Coverage Cream Plus Hydrating and Anti-Aging Concealer SPF 50. 
um, what does it say here? Um, doesn't really say anything else. Anyways, so it is a pump top. So I've been dying to try this for so long. Again, I did not pay full price for this. It looks like a pretty good match. So fingers crossed. Oh, I definitely did better with this match than with the uh, 17 makeup. Oh, I'm not sure what that smells of. It has a scent. I'm not sure. I can't. I can't put my finger on where I know that smell from. Um, this definitely is full coverage. Yeah, that definitely has really, really good coverage. Oh, let's sit down. Hmm, okay. Well, it's going on my nose nicely as well. Hmm. So far, so good. I may have gone in with a little bit too much product. Um, it is quite clear you don't need to use much. This is definitely a little goes a long way. Just look at the coverage on that. Okay, I'm I'm impressed with the coverage of this. And it definitely doesn't um, it doesn't appear to emphasize anything. But it does say that you can use this as both foundation and concealer. So maybe I will give that a go. I did get out another concealer to use, but I think actually I'm just going to I'm just going to be using this because it does say that you can use it as both foundation and concealer. So I would like to test out that theory. Looking at how it's uh, going on, it is a thicker formula than I was expecting. I have no idea why some reason I seem to think that like CC creams and BB creams are all like really lightweight I have no idea why do any of you guys get that you just make assumptions based on what you think you know not what you actually know I'm really liking how this is looking it's definitely got a lot of a glow so I'm just, with my concealer brush, just going to use, well, use the foundation as the concealer. Okay. Yep. I, I would have to agree. <laughs> this, it makes a great concealer as well as foundation. Nice. I do love a multi-use product um, I'm a sucker for it anything that can kind of save time or whatever because looking at the price of this it's not not cheap I mean I when it comes to these higher end stuff I got my not pay full price for stuff um, I wait till they're on sale or on Depop or something like that um, but I do have to say that as this can be used as both foundation and concealer you're kind of getting um, both in one the Be Perfect the new foundation is it the Chroma cover um, that also provides really good um, coverage um, as a concealer as well as a foundation um, and is a lot cheaper how much do you get in here does it say um, no that's in month 32 mil okay so that's slightly more than 
your average kind of foundation thing and a little really does go a long way I used way too much I'm loving how this is looking okay it cosmetics and for under my eyes I have the it cosmetics bye bye under eye it says full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer now I've how much do you get in this one you get 12 mils I have it in the shade 10.5 light I didn't say what shade I had the I have this one in light the foundation and this in 10.5 lights um I have seen other people use it and say you only need the tiniest amount so I'm just going to pop just a little blob tiny blob on my uh on my hand there and then using my finger because I've heard that it works best with your finger I'm just going to kind of press it in under my eye yeah, I've seen Steph Toms raving about this for a long time. And I know she finds it better to do with your finger, I suppose because it warms the product up that bit more, because it is definitely a thicker consistency. It's a thicker consistency than I thought it was going to be I don't know why well that definitely brightens up under eyes just look at that eye compared to that eye jeez okay I get I get the hype okay I 100% see what the fuss is about this is beautiful and oh my god that what I put on my hand was still too much loving it absolutely loving it okay so the the cream bronzer i've been using pretty much every time i've done my makeup since i got it um only like a week ago i think it was and it's the new revolution ultra cream bronzer i have it in the shade medium for some reason it won't open <laughs> I have it in the shade medium I I love it you only need a small amount you don't need much at all like literally I just kind of dabbed it in and then just look at the look at the pigment um, I love that this is more on the cool toned side that's definitely more my preference um, for both contour I like to be able to contour and bronze in one um which isn't so possible if you are using a more warm toned if that makes sense um plus I think so where I would say I'm more of a neutral undertone um I don't know it just looks more like shadowy does that even make any sense I have no idea at this point but all I know is I am absolutely loving this product it just blends out so easily it's a really good formula I was so impressed or I am so impressed I am so impressed with this it is beautiful I'm just gonna take a little bit each side of my nose there I don't heavily contour my nose um, because I do end up looking well, I think I end up looking a bit like you know the mean witch from the Wizard of Oz is it the Wicked Witch of the West um, I think I end up looking like her my nose does at least um, so I don't like to over contour my nose um, I probably don't look like that but we've all got our things haven't we and <laughs> we all see ourselves different to how other people see us so yeah um but yeah bottom line is I'm loving this and so do we want to go in with a 
cream blush another product i've been absolutely loving another cream product is the melt cosmetics cream blush light i've got it in the shade golden hour i i'm loving this it's so beautiful and it's nicely pigmented without being too pigmented and this brush this is from she glam from the Shein website and this is my favorite cream blush brush my favorite brush to use for cream blush wow why did that end up being such a mouthful um oh, i'm loving this so much um so yeah this this product's just beautiful and i love melt cosmetics um i have I don't think I've got it down here. That would have gone perfect. Never mind. Um, <laughs> chatting away to myself. Apologies. Um, but yeah, guys, if you are on the fence about... If you like cream blushes in general anyway, and you're on, on the fence about these melt ones, I, I love it. I mean, look at that. It's just seamless. Right, where are we at now? Powder and the powder i'm going to use is the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting powder in the shade butter this is one of my favorites um not new as many of you will know i just i adore this and the smell is just amazing so i'm just setting that concealer oh okay i I'm loving this, uh, the Bye Bye Under Eye. Look at that. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm just going to use the little brush to set around the areas where I get most oily. Now I would say I have um, two favourite powders. Um this one definitely and also the hmb cosmetics powder that is um uk indie brand and um, i mean that i would say it's my favorite um this is only tied i mean this performs beautifully um but the smell of this really is what draws me in the smell it just smells smells like luxury i don't know how to describe it beautiful smell um obviously if you don't like scented products it's not going to be not going to be for you but oh, i just think it smells amazing and it makes the skin look flawless like gives that kind of airbrush finish airbrush effect look at that beautiful okay now going into under eyes i think i'm going to i'm going to start out with a bit of edo 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 again i'm apologies I'm pretty sure that I'm butchering that and I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use a bit of this one. The deeper purple matte. We're going to go with that. And I'm just going to kind of stamp that right up against the lash line just to kind of connect the upper and lower lids. Oh, yeah, upper and lower lids, something like that and then i think to blend that out i want to go in with shakira shakira kiri i have no idea how to say it. i'm sorry um the blue map i need to stop butchering these and i'm just going to use that just to really kind of blow out the lower lash line there and 
This shade is so pretty. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, really blown that out. I'm just going to go back into the deeper purple. And I'm just going to kind of blend that a bit more into the blue at the edge there. That's looking really, really nice. I'm loving that. I'm going to take a bit of the darkest purple and I'm just going to kind of tap it more there just to kind of connect connect the upper and lower a bit better. That's, that's more like it. Yeah, that's looking good. Looking really good. So what do I want to put on the inner uh, you know what I think I'm going to I'm going to go Miss Sam I think and I'm just going to place that right up against the lash line on the inner part there oh that is so pretty that is so pretty look at that so it's without any glitter primer or wetting the brush. That just looks beautiful. So I don't want it to be like a solid patch. I want it to be able to kind of blend it in. Oh. This is stunning. Oh, could this be my new favourite Juvia's palette? Um, it's very possible, very possible, look at that, okay guys so I did my liner and lashes off camera just because it takes forever, um, the black liquid liner is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner, um, it's one of those one of these. Um, I really like it. Thanks for using it. Um, the mascara I used is the Barium Feature Length Mascara. I have been absolutely loving this. It's so good. And in my waterline, I went in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in Peridot. Love it. Um, and the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics. They're in the style Ego. I did receive these in PR and I love them. I have worn these many times now. So yeah, just uh, the rest of the face products to do in Lippy. Um, I do want to use this again. Um, I did do a full face of 17 makeup, um, which should go up before this one. Um, so you probably have seen this in action. It's the 17, glow, 17 makeup glow and define bronzer in the shade 020 and yeah I, I quite like it so let's grab a brush I love that this one's a bit cooler toned um, it just kind of suits me better um, it is buildable the formula as you can see um i'm not kind of, i'm just kind of dabbing in well i would say aggressively but that sounds horrible i'm just dabbing my brush in and then putting it on i do like that it's buildable um because if you go in with a really pigmented one you can end up looking like you've wiped your face in mud i don't like that not quite the look I'm going for. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm guessing, you know, maybe it's for some people. It's not for me. Yeah, I, I am actually enjoying this bronzer. It's nice. Pigeons. 
but yeah um i like this i think it's well worth the whatever it was such a like stupidly low price really affordable and yeah i like it a lot um for blusher i'm going to use the metamorphosis moo blush um i have been loving this it's so cute so cute um I love the products from Metamorphosis and I did, when did I do that? I recently did a video using the products from Metamorphosis and I forgot to use, I've got a a loose powder and I completely forgot to bring that down to use so I'm going to have to chuck that in another, another testing new makeup or just get ready with me I'm not sure what do you guys prefer just more of a chilled out get ready with me or on specific products and really concentrating on those let me know but yeah this blush is absolutely gorgeous and what do we have next highlighter um this is another one that's fairly new to my collection I've been loving it it's these Kaleidos Space Age Highlighter Diamond Dasher. Um, you can't really see the shade <laughs> in the thing properly. Same with all of them. Um, but yeah, I just think this is such a pretty one. And it's got those the pink reflex in, as you can probably see. So I thought that would really go well with this look. These highlighters are just amazing. I have a few of them. Ideally, I'd like to get them all, but <laughs> being realistic, <laughs> maybe one day. But yeah, I, I love this. I think I'm actually, do I want to use this for my inner corner and brow bone highlight? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's just uh, go over this with the blush a brush melt that in a bit more I do like um, quite a blinding highlight so I do put quite a lot quite a lot on I think I'm going to use Epic. I, I have no idea if that's how you pronounce it again butchering it I'm sorry the pink shimmer I want to give this a go I think this might be nice for the inner corner and brow bone. Ooh. And this looks a bit shifty. Oh, I like this. This one does seem to be a bit harder pressed in the pan. I'm have to re having to really wiggle my brush around to pick up the product so I don't know if it's just that it wasn't meant to be but I don't know let's see what oh it seems to have like a green to pink shift okay yeah you can really see it actually on the in the corner there hopefully you can see it on camera That is really pretty. Yep. I like that a lot. And where are all these hairs coming from? I'm going to pop that also up under my brow. You can really see the green shift there. Where it's right next to the pink. Yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, I'm loving how that's looking. I'm just going to stick on some lip liner. It's the P. Louise lip liner in the shade Privacy. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. 
throw it away See if you let go of me When you're not And then going in with the Metamorphosis Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candid. I've been loving this too. The formula is beautiful and it just kind of wears away rather than um, flaking. I can see it now. Hey, when I lose, but if I'm gonna okay guys so this is the finished look let me know what you think in the comments section below um do you have any of these products do you like them do you hate them um do you want to try them let's have a chat in the comment section below um i i really enjoyed pretty much everything i played with this palette guys is stunning absolutely stunning these shades, most of the shimmers are really shifty and in particular this is my favourite I believe. But this pink shift screen, absolutely stunning. Definitely a new favourite palette. Could be my new favourite Juvia's palette. Let me know what you think of it guys. Do you have a, what do you think of the shifty shimmers? Um, so yeah, that's going to be about it from me for today. If you've liked this video, please give it a like. Um, if you are not subscribed already and you like colourful makeup, supporting indie brands, um, maybe discovering some indie brands that you hadn't heard of before, then please do subscribe and join the Chameleon family. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.